All right, we are on to step three. My man's favorite topic, speed. We gotta go fast. So this is not about like, how do you get fast? This is more about the mental aspect of having some acceptance of where the speed is gonna come from, having some understanding of where the speed is gonna come from. So if you, who just heard this pattern tonight, were to play this, my thought would be the pattern speed would be your problem. So let's talk about pattern speed versus raw speed. Pattern speed is your brain's ability to recall the pattern and put all the notes together. So there's a moment if, uh, let's say that I change the pattern a little bit. Kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right, left, hat, kick, right, left, hat, kick, right, left. I swear to you, I've never done that in my life. It doesn't even sound enjoyable right now. But my limiting factor is the pattern. I can't remember it. Kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right, left, hat, kick, right, left, hat, Fa la 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 la. Kick right, left, kick right, left, right, left, hat. <laughs> okay. I so badly wish I was faking for the cameras, but that's the reality is I'm I'm I don't know that pattern, but I do know it at a much slower speed. Kick right, left, kick right, left, right, left, hat, kick right, left, kick right, left. So if pattern speed is my limiting factor then I need to be playing at about 60 to 70% of my max, maybe even less than that, so that I can do it over and over again. What we tend to do is we go kick right, left, kick right, left, right, left, hat, kick, hey, I'll do it again at that exact same speed. Or we do this, kick right, left, kick right, left, right, left, hat, kick. Oh, I thought it would work faster. It won't work faster. You can't do it. Just admit it to yourself. It's not that hard to say, I just can't do the damn thing. That's okay. So what I do is I slow it down to wherever I can do it. Where can I play this flawlessly? That is my tempo. And you know what? I'm not ashamed of people saying like, oh my God, his metronome's at 30 BPM. It's like, whatever. <laughs> It'll be at 35 tomorrow. It'll be at 40 the next day. I'm not ashamed. BPMs don't like come with a cool badge of like 200. I don't feel that way. I feel like, well, it just is what it is. And I'm gonna have to build this thing up. It's gonna take time. So as I build this thing up for our pattern that we're using, What I do is I try to think, okay, let me go until it breaks. I know this pattern pretty well, so the pattern isn't the problem. Okay, that's about where I'm at. That's where I physically break down, so I call that raw speed. So now we have two different types of speed. Pattern speed, it's a brain issue. You don't know the pattern. Slow way down, crazy slow. Raw speed, you're just physically not fast enough to do this any faster. Well, now we're dealing with muscles. Now you're gonna have to juice it a bit. So if I'm dealing with raw, uh, pattern speed, I really, really slow things down to like, almost like slow motion level, and I just wait. I just wait around until all of a sudden, it's like, oh, I can even sing it. If it's raw speed, which is my problem, then I have to actually max out and then pull up a little tap function on the old metronome. So let's try that again, see where it bails. Don't look at my face right now because it's really hard. Okay, right there. All right, so I think, I think I would physically max out at my best moment of my life at about 2.05. That's like, I literally just said some prayers to the matcha gods and I, you know, splashed the cymbals with some matcha and that's the best case scenario. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna back that down to about 170 and stay there. And that, that honestly might be too fast, we'll find out. And I'm gonna stay there until my arms are on fire because I'm trying to build a faster level of speed through taxing my muscles, starving them of oxygen Thank you. And getting to that point where I'm like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. So when you're working on your speed, what I want you guys to think of right away is what is the problem? Is it physical or is it mental? Is it pattern speed 
or raw speed. A lot of times when I see people struggle, does everyone here know what a halftime shuffle is? Okay, so a lot of times when I see people struggle with a halftime shuffle, they actually don't know the pattern. So they think they do, and then I say, okay, play me a halftime shuffle on a pad. And they go, hold on, give me a, I'm like, take your time. I got all the time in the world. And I know where it's going. I'm like, you don't know what this is, do you? You don't know the actual pattern to a halftime shuffle. You know a beat. You learned Rosanna, or you learned Fool in the Rain. You know a beat, but you don't know the pattern. The pattern to the halftime shuffle with no ghost notes is. So sometimes you have to just learn the pattern before it can become. If we slow this down and even it out, that takes a lot of work. But when you get that down, then you get back to the kit, all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I actually know this thing. I internally know it. I know exactly what to do. And then you can work on ghost notes and dynamics and everything else. So, when it comes to building speed, don't just go fast. If you go fast in train wreck, all you're doing is teaching your brain, that's the way to do it. And it's over. It's like, why would you do that? Do it slow and your brain will be like, thank you. We're happy to do it faster later. So is it pattern speed or is it raw speed? Find out for yourself and then just dial in on that. Does that make sense? Beautiful. On to step number four.